In this video, I wanted to share with you a variation of PA slot corner that I really like. It's a quick snap play, and it's something that you can use to break down pretty much every coverage in the game. It's really simple, and it's really, really effective. PA slot corner, in my opinion, is one of the best plays this year. I think it's a top five play. It might just very well be maybe top three uh, play this year. It's my personal favorite play this year uh, because there's so much that you can do off of the play. In our trips tied in of update um, that was 55 minutes long, we covered this play and we shared on my almost 30 different setups for this play so if you want to get access to my full trips tied in offensive ebook as well as the updated version of that make sure you're in our patreon ten dollars get you access to all of our ebooks all of our updates to the ebooks as well um so if you want to get check that out we also have other stuff over there we have like 14 offensive and defensive ebooks but today we're talking about trips tied in pa slot corner and uh, we're going to be breaking this down. So I really like this setup because it's a quick snap play, meaning you only need to do one hot route or less to be able to snap the ball. So um, this variation of P slot corner is going to capitalize on the fact that this is almost like a slant route. It's very similar to a slant route, especially after we're going to motion it. Um, so all we're going to do is we're going to streak our outside trips receiver and we're going to motion snap this guy in a step. So streak and motion this guy in a step. And what you're gonna see here is you're gonna have some really, really nice routes. Um, man, this is this is not perfect uh, by any means for man to man. It's more of just a quick snap play. Um, but what you are seeing is this route to triangle will cook man to man, especially when you motion him in, and especially if you have short and elite on this player. So they're gonna have to use her, um, they're gonna have to use her this guy. If they use her this guy, now they can't guard the tight end corner, which is one of the best man beating routes in the game this year, is the tight end corner route. So if you have short and elite on that tight end, he's gonna cook man, and then your corner on the left. So this play literally attacks every area of the field and can beat man in zone. Um, it's one of the best plays in the game, one of the simplest plays in the game, um, and you see just how effective this is. Uh, this route to circle is probably, I, I think it's at least one of the best corner routes in the game, if not the best corner route um, in the game, and then you pair that with this little, uh, little sharp cutting post route that Jones is on, you see how that when you motion him, he's gonna run it a little more shallow. Um, if you don't motion him, I'll show you what happens. He's going to run significantly deeper, which is fine if that's what you want. I just find that it, the, I don't know. I mean, I just, it takes him a little longer to get open, in my opinion, too. So, for what it's worth. Um, now, let's get into some zone stuff. So, this is really good against zone as well. Um, this is my favorite way to attack cover four. If I'm getting a lot of cover four, this play right here is what I'm going to call. Um, just quick snap this, boom. And you'll see circle is going to always be open. Now, um, in this year's game and for this specific setup, okay, in this year's game and for this specific setup, I think it makes a lot of sense to be to the wide side. There's We have short side and wide side setups for trips in our ebook. Some setups work better to the short side. Some setups work better to the wide side. This is one of those that works really, really well to this outside because this player is going to have a lot more room and that quarter can't bite down as you're seeing if i because i i need this this space because i need that quarter to be completely out of the way right quarter to get completely out of the way and i need to be able to throw that ball right in that little pocket so this is like i said my favorite play now uh for cover four now let's say for example that your opponent says i'm not going to give up the corner Okay, so I'm going to run cover four, but I'm not giving up the corner route. In that situation, this right here is going to be wide open. So you want to take that, and that's what makes this motion snap so good, uh, specifically against zone, is this is such a simple uh, simple way to attack zone. Because you'll see here, the yellows, even if they don't, even if they're not usering the yellows, the yellows really drift back. Um even though they put new drift logic in the game to help this, <laughs> um, it really doesn't change anything. So you see here, see how I can throw that now here, and then when he cuts across, I can throw right in front of that yellow. So that's a really nice little play. Now uh, let's talk about cover three. Cover three and cover two are going to be very similar. Uh, pretty much in zone here, you can put this outside guy on a fade if you want to. That'll help a little bit against cover two. But you'll see here, cover three, 
same basic thing. You're throwing that ball right there, and you're going to make that catch. And again, if they say, well, we're going to take that away with our user, it's going to be really hard for them to also take away this little baby post route right in the middle of the field that you can kind of just flood them with. Now, the next zone variation that you're going to see is cover two. And this is where I was saying you might want to, you might want to fade this outside guy because if you fade him, you'll see he'll get this little outside release and then you can freeform this over the top and they should never, ever run cover two on you um, because that right there is what's going to happen. However, if I was to put him on a streak... So if I was to put him on a streak, watch his release point. He's releasing inside. Now that throw right there is a lot more dangerous, as you can see. Okay? So if you have any suspicion at all that it might be cover two and they might be trying to bluff you and, and all that, my recommendation is to fade this guy because you'll see he's going to get over the top of the defender a lot better on cover two. If you know for a fact it's cover three or cover four, though, I have found that these fades, they don't clear out as fast. Um, they don't clear zone out as fast, okay? Um, so, so anyways, that's the idea. Uh, this is also really good specifically against match coverage. It's one of my favorite plays for match coverage as well. Um, so quarters coverage, this little baby motion snap in, and what you'll see here is circle should be open to the sideline every single time. So it adds a layer of consistency to match coverage um, as well as allows us to break down man or zone. This is one of the best plays in the game, and it's also one of the simplest plays in the game that you can literally snap instantly. Um, that was a bad freeform, but that you can literally snap instantly. So this is, like I said, it's one of my favorite plays. Uh, it can beat the blitz as well because you're blocking your running back. So you're going to have plenty of time to be able to break them down man or zone depending on their coverage. And you see how good this is against match. So that is PA slot corner, the quick snap, uh, a quick snap variation. It's not the only uh, quick snap variation that we have uh, in the ebook, But this one right here is probably my favorite uh, right now because of how powerful um, play action blocking is and how powerful the little post coming over the middle. Now you have something that's going to hold their user in the middle of the field while you attack the sideline. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full trips tied in ebook, make sure you become a Patreon member today. Patreon members get access to all of our updates and all of our ebooks. Uh, so if you want to check those out, the link is in the description. $10 gets you unlimited access to everything we have over there. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.